Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm your heroic host, Supercliff, and today we'll be covering Superman, Man of Tomorrow, issues 5 and 6, both written by Robert Vendetti and both drawn by Paul Pelletier. And our story begins in the streets of Metropolis, where its citizens are gathering and walloping is ensuing as we witness the Man of Steel being chucked into a truck. Superman quickly recovers and announces that the kid gloves are coming off as he takes off and delivers a mighty punch to the face against superpowered chimpanzee or gorilla, take your pick, Titano. Titano is sent flying backwards, but as Superman is quick to save innocent bystanders from being crushed, Titano is able to gain his footing and chuck Superman through a building. Meanwhile, as the fight between Superman and Titano escalates, Lex Luthor is observing the spectacle from the comfort from his supervillain chair. But it appears that Mr. Luthor has a trick up his sleeve as he activates one of his newest inventions. As multiple street cameras transform into sentry cams, the camera guns shoot laser blasts at Titano, which causes the super ape to collapse, rendering him unconscious. The camera guns then announce to the public that LexCorp is happy to provide security to the people of Metropolis. And as the people cheer, Superman is feeling unsure of Lex Luthor's true intentions. Later at the Daily Planet, Perry White is shouting once more as he wonders why slash how Lex Luthor was able to manage a contract with the city of Metropolis to install security guns. Perry makes the comment that the guns are actually proving to be much more effective than Superman. After their meeting, Clark is feeling pretty butthurt, for Clark is jealous that Metropolis's city savior is his greatest nemesis. This also causes Clark to be somewhat unsure that Lex Luthor, of all people, has suddenly undergo a change of heart. Three weeks pass, and the hottest news stories are all about how Lex Luthor's new security installments have become Metropolis's guardian angels. However, it's here where we see how the plot thickens, as Clark Kent is taking a night stroll and suddenly comes across a robbery in progress. The thief makes his escape, but is now being threatened by Luthor's guns. Now, usually these cameras have proven most effective against overly powered supervillains. However, do we really need these technologically advanced death rays against low-level criminals? Well, the answer is no, which causes Clark Kent to jump in front of the man, saving his life, but ultimately paying a harmful price. Moving on to Superman, Man of Tomorrow, issue number six. We witness Clark Kent succumbing to Lex Luthor's security gun. The thief is completely scared shitless, and immediately he throws back the store's money and runs away. And while innocent bystanders are trying to make sense in regards to what's going on, Clark Kent is able to escape and dresses up as Superman. Superman returns, bad movie pun, Yep, and informs the people that, <laughs> God, I hate that movie. Oh, that movie sucks. And is here to dispense true justice. As we see the Man of Steel uses his heat vision to blow up Luthor's toy. Superman then takes off and flies all throughout Metropolis, destroying Lex's guns one after another. But unfortunately, with each gun that gets destroyed, two more shall take its place. Hail Hydra. Um, <laughs> weird. And as we witness Superman getting overwhelmed, the people of Metropolis join the fray as they begin to defend their hero from Luthor's control. Lex Luthor, who's witnessing these events unfold, is pissed and immediately brings out the big gun as you see the Daily Planet's globe transform into a giant cannon. And of course, we witness Perry White kicking and screaming like a baby. Ah, uh, I have some issues. Superman immediately takes off straight towards the cannon for Superman is willing to sacrifice himself in order to prevent Lex Luthor's control of the people. And after a struggle of might and courage, Superman is able to break through the weapon's power and is successful in destroying Lex's mega gun. As the crowd cheers in the streets of Metropolis, Superman flies over to LexCorp's main HQ where he informs Lex Luthor that he's taking him into custody to answer for his crimes. However, because Superman is not a police officer and because Lex Luthor technically didn't do anything illegal, quote unquote, Superman's arch nemesis is able to avoid the charges that are brought against them. And though Lois is upset that Luthor was able to avoid justice due to his amount of vast wealth, Clark Kent is confident in the fact that though Lex Luthor can buy off as many people as he wants, in the end, it won't matter because Clark's money is on Metropolis. And that was Superman, Man of Tomorrow, issues five and six. And once again, both issues are crafted wonderfully by Robert Vendetti's writing, along with all the art that was involved. Now, although I thoroughly enjoyed the story, in the end, it could have been a one-issue arc, but let's be honest, I'm not going to fault the issue too harshly based on the concept that comics today are priced at $3.99 to sometimes $4.99. Requiring $2 for these two issues is a steal. In addition, you're getting much more content and actual true depictions of Superman and his supporting cast than you would in the current Superman series. You know, the series where Lois and Clark are married but are separated because 
yet they still fuck on a constant basis. Um, <laughs> I digress. I love seeing villains we don't ever see, like Titano, aka DC's King Kong, warms my heart. Plus the amount of loyalty that's presented within these two issues, it's great, I love it, and it's why I enjoy reading Superman. Superman, Man of Tomorrow, issues 5 and 6, get a 9 out of 10.